Hello there, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another little bit of hair fun. I'm gonna be testing out one of the new shades from L'Oreal's Le Color Gloss Treatment line. They were so gracious to send me all three shades of their new Silver Linings collection. And on the card that came with these products, it just says this is their gray gracefully with confidence line. So for those of us who have graying hair, these treatments are supposed to help kind of enhance the beauty of natural gray hair. Now, as most of you probably know, I don't have a whole lot yet of natural gray hair, but I have highlighted hair. So I just looked on the back of the box and called the hair tip line to talk with a L'Oreal specialist just to see if I I could actually use any of these shades on my highlighted hair. And the advice given was that if my blonde highlights were a little more on the yellow side, she thought that I would be able to use, she recommended the silver white shade, which is this one. But you know, I was really curious about the silver opal shade. And so I decided to go ahead and try the silver opal shade today. The third color in the line is called Silver Slate. And this is definitely for darker grays. So I'm gonna be probably passing this on to one of my friends who has closer to this color of gray tone in their hair. But for today, I just thought it would be fun to hop on here and show you the results of using Silver Opal. Now, when I asked the specialist, I was like, so what's the opal? She said, well, it's supposed to have maybe a little bit of some variation of colors. Like you could see maybe some peach tones or blue or whatever. And I'm like, okay, this could be interesting. So if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. And now I'm gonna remove the towel and we're gonna see what we have. All right, so I'm going to just roughly comb through my hair. And with my hair wet, I don't know how much we're gonna be able to tell, but it definitely brightened up my hair. And I did take a picture of just like the top part of my hair before I washed it so that we could have a really good comparison. I made sure that I did not use any purple shampoo or any toners for the last week so I could really make sure my hair was really warm blonde. So, hmm. This is kind of looking fun. Okay, I'm gonna initially just put in a few of my normal hair products. I'm gonna use the Catwalk Root Boost as my root lifting product today. And I just put this in a couple of areas around the back of my head, my crown of my hair, I should say. And then I'm going to just put a little bit right in through this section here. And I have decided I'm not going to put in any of my Style Share Remedy. I just wanna see how much shine we get from just this product. So now I'm just gonna pull out my hair dryer and we're gonna get started blow drying and we're gonna see what kind of color develops here.
goodness. I actually, I think it's really pretty. I definitely see a silver tone and it does look, I think a little more gray than when I used the cool blonde version, but I actually, I don't know. I think it's really pretty. All right, let's go ahead and finish up the hair. So I'm just gonna take my flat iron. I think I'm gonna actually, I know some of you like having the bangs down a little more on my forehead. I am only days away from my next cut, so it gets a little tricky to wear my bangs down too far because they are quite long, but let's just do something kind of swept forward so we can really see all of that color. This is where the majority of my highlights are anyway. And I'm gonna just pull this through a little bit here on the top. All right, I think I'm gonna actually curl over and then sweep the bangs over to the right. Next, I'm going in with the Enjoy Dry Wax and just have, want to get a little bit of this. It's been so hot here. This is actually quite soft and emollient, so I have to be careful I don't dig in and get too much product. All right, I'm going to now just work this through, through the hair. And I think I'm gonna actually kind of push this over to the side in the back. We'll have a little bit of fun there. All right, and something I have seen done, and I actually did it, I think once or twice myself, and it was kind of fun, is I'm gonna take this back section and I'm going to actually kind of sweep it over to the side. And then here on the side, just kind of for, I'm, I'm using my nails and that product to kind of smush it into the side of my head. So I don't get a huge puff ball right here, but I kind of want to direct that back part of the hair. All right, and then here in the front, I'm just going to piece a little bit of this front section here. And then this section right here, I'm actually going to flip up just a little. And then I go back through and kind of straighten it out just a little. All right, time to set it in place with some hairspray. Doing my tried and true Aussie Instant Freeze. I'm gonna start off with this. And for those of you who don't know what I'm doing, I'm just kind of pinching little bits of hair together that I want to kind of freeze in this kind of separated state that it's in after I've hit it with some hairspray. So by pinching the hair, it just kind of holds it in place while it dries. This dries super fast. All right, right here is always the quandary of what to do when I sweep it back like that. Cause you're like, at what point does the hair need to start going? So I've just decided this section is going to go forward and the rest is going to go back. All right. And then once I'm done, one final product that you can use if you want your style to last all day is one that I recently talked about. This is the Bedhead Masterpiece Hairspray. For my thicker, more coarse hair, this is a great finishing spray. It adds a little bit of extra shine, but it also just keeps any flyaways from happening. I can be out in the wind and by just topping it off, this is like almost like finishing powder, but it's finishing spray and this works great. Now, if you have super fine hair, this could be enough hold for you without the Aussie Instant Freeze hairspray. to take my camera into my beauty room and see if we can get a little better light especially up here on the top because it's kind of hard to get the lighting just right on this portion of the hair so all right so here's the finished look 
and I don't think there's any question. It is quite a lot brighter and quite a lot cooler. And yes, it definitely has more of a gray tone, but I would say more of a silver tone. I was concerned myself that it would make my hair look a little bit dull, but instead I feel like it does look a lot more bright and vibrant. And I think I can see some slight little bit of color shift in there. What do you think? You'll have to let me know in the comment section below. Let me insert a picture of what my color looked like before I did the treatment today. And then you can see now that compared with how it looks now. And I don't think there's any question. It's a lot brighter. Now, if you are somebody who has naturally graying or gray hair, white hair, I would highly recommend checking out one of the new shades from the Silver Linings collection. I really do love this product. I have used the Cool Blonde shade before, and I will actually link that video in the description box below. Now, for me personally, when I use this product, I feel like the shine only lasts until I wash the hair the next time. I do feel like the conditioning that it does on the hair does last through several washes, as well as the tone. I feel like the tone lasts for me for about five washes. And then by then it's kind of time to do it again. But I have used the Cool Blonde shade numerous times and I feel like that really does save me from having to use my purple shampoo at all in between times. Now this treatment is available in multiple shades. So even if you don't have white or silver hair, they have lots of different shades just to help kind of enhance your color, whether it be natural or color treated hair. And so I think that is wonderful. I hope that you really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Again, a big thank you to L'Oreal for letting me test out some of their new products. I hope this was helpful for you. Check the description box down below for a list and link to all of the products I used today, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.